Hi, you're with Rebecca at Off-White Living and we are looking at a beautiful uh, simmer of a yellow tomato sauce that I'm making here. Um, what I basically did is I started with a beautiful yellow tomato. These are actually picked fresh from uh, some good friends of ours who have some amazing gardening um, opportunities and so they have these beautiful, delicious and very sweet, very juicy um, heirloom tomatoes. I took this tomato I cut an X in it at the bottom, so I would just go right across here after I've washed it, of course. And then I came over here and I would put it in this pot of boiling water. So you can see that I turned the water off, but there's still the steam coming out. And I plunge it in for 15 seconds until the skin starts to peel back. And then I bring it over here and peel it. And this is what it looks like peeled. Almost the same, but you can just see it's a little bit moister. And the skin comes off so easily. Here's your pile of skins that you can see. So I did some red and some yellow tomatoes. And then basically all I did is I uh, sauteed up some shallots with a little bit of butter and salt, um, which you can see here a little bit mixed in with the yellow tomatoes. And then I just finely chopped the tomatoes, uh, seeded them with a little spoon, and now I'm going to let them simmer. So they're maybe a little bit high right here. I'm going to turn it down a bit. Let them simmer for about 30 minutes, and then I will have a really nice base for a tomato sauce. Now if I wanted to add something like some spices or some herbs I could do that toward the end and then I'm actually going to be freezing this in a Ziploc bag that I can lay flat in my freezer to stack it up and that way it doesn't take up a whole bunch of room. You could also do a meat sauce with this. I'm just going through, I have so many tomatoes, I'll just pan over. You can see there's some red ones that I did, I've got some romas here, I've got some cherries here, and I've got some grapes and things, and then some more heirlooms over here. So I'm, I've got some options, and then there's actually even more way over there. So <laughs> um, I'm really blessed with all this amazing produce. I will also be making a sauce that has some yellow zucchini and green zucchini and um, this nice, beautiful uh, Oregon grown onion in it. So um, tomato sauce, super easy to make. You make it when the tomatoes are ripe, and if you have to buy them, they're a lot cheaper when you buy them ripe and in season, and then you have fabulous tomato sauces all through the winter months. So I would probably use these with uh, these sauces with a rice pasta, a spelt pasta, or over a spaghetti squash with maybe a little bit of goat cheese and uh, fresh cut basil or uh, some thyme or rosemary, whatever I kind of feel like that day. And um, definitely a little bit of goat cheese that adds some texture to any sauce. I'm a big fan of the goat cheese. Must be my Greek roots. So that's it for off-white living and making a really simple tomato sauce from scratch. Probably 20 minutes from the time I started to the time that uh, this puppy is at a simmer. And now I can go do other things while it simmers for 15 to 30 minutes on low heat. Take good care. That's Rebecca with Off-White Living.